Well, analysts expect the equities markets in the near term to remain volatile with investors taking positions in fundamentally sound stocks. And Mukhtar Mohammed, analyst at the Saw Investments, joins me now for a midweek market uh, update. Mukhtar, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Esther, for having me. I wanted to talk to you about recent developments in the banking space, specifically comments made by the CBN governor, and also we've heard the presidency speak about uh, a banking consolidation, recapitalization, if you will, of banks. Uh, I'd like you to just comment, <clears throat> excuse me, on those uh, comments from the CBN governor, what this means for the markets. We have seen, it would appear, that there might be, uh, have been some positioning in some of those banking stocks, but what do you make of it? Well, Esther, we thought there's so much positioning. We thought the market would continue to respond as it's a close of market today. I think most of the big banks, I mean, the telecom banks are on assets is down. I think GTCO is down also, Zenet is down, and UB is down also at the close of, I mean, at when I left the market today. So definitely we're not seeing those bullish for, 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 for the pronouncement by the CBN governor. Uh, I think it's a nice thing to do. But again, we're still waiting for the guideline and the modality on that. That will spot a lot of activities in the in the um, primary uh, primary market because we've not seen a lot of activities in that space for for for. I mean, is it the secondary market? We've not seen a lot of activities in that space for a while. And if what happened in 2004 is anything to go back there, maybe we are in for a good time at that time. But you know. At that time, the capital base was about two billion and was moved over by one thousand or so, one thousand two hundred percent. So today, I, I don't know where the, the CBN. They just said they want to build a one trillion dollar economy. I was, so I was going to come to that. that. Uh, a one trillion dollar uh, economy. The banks are going to be instrumental in achieving that. But opinions appear to be mixed on the ability of the capacity of this market to support uh, that. You know, this sort of capitalization. Like you said, we don't know what the numbers are going to be yet. Uh, but you know, like I said, opinions are, appear to be mixed. Some say yes. I mean, like you. You're optimistic and you say, yes, it's a, it's a great thing to happen. But others are skeptical, saying that they're not sure that the, the, the fact that uh, the market is dominantly, predominantly being uh, traded by domestic investors. So that has raised some of their concerns. Is that something for us to think about? I think it's only for us to be happy about if domestic investors are the one driving the market. Um, where we have the foreign investors, we've seen that they're near um, external shock attempt to leave the market immediately and that creates a lot of um, issues with the market especially sometimes we get some of these uh, uh, equity either overpriced and then you start getting market correction then you start getting bearish loan before you know they said um, uh, um, it's going bearish almost all through the, the year so for me i think it's a good thing if domestic investor but now let's look at the cbm strategy um for me i think some banks are highly capitalized Share the first tier bank and maybe one or two in the second tier bank are highly capitalized. I don't think they will have a problem with that. Most of them are already planning to come to the market before now. Uh, a bank like Fidelity and even the tier one bank like um, FBN, they're also planning to come to the market. There will be a lot of strategic in injection of funds. And I think uh, most of the bank, if you're trying to build a $1 trillion economy, I think what we should be thinking of attracting is dollar investment. And I, 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 I hope and I believe that that might be the target of the bank. Just like your report, you saw that uh, a bank like Zenet is already opening franchise in, in, in France. So we'll see a lot of that. Nigerian banks have really diversified their investment in Nigeria. And I mustn't forget that these banks are now having holding companies. So we are not even looking at that side yet. Right. So for me, I, I think it's a good uh, moment. But my challenge would be uh, whether we have the capacity to, the regulatory capacity to manage the $1 trillion economy. Because when we did the $25 billion, $25 billion naira, which at that time was, uh, I think, about 100 and something, about, about 100 something million based on the exchange rates, we saw the kind of uh, uh, um, um, capacity that was not there, and that led to a lot of um, issues. We saw bank investing in virtually every sector without right. getting risk uh, uh, studies of those investments. So, that is my fear. It's not even with the capital market itself, it's with the regulator. Well, I, I wanted to quickly, if sorry to butt in, uh, Mukta, just want, I wanted to squeeze in this question before I let you go because my director is telling me I'm almost out of time. So with more banking shares coming into the market, uh, I mean, it's been said that that could potentially reduce uh, the valuation or prices of these banking stocks because more will flood the market. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? 
I think no, I think I dis I, I disagree with that. Um, the banks are when you see those share comes in, it depends on the profit and the earning per share. Could they be able to pay dividends the way they used to pay before? But as it stands, now some banks are doing double digit in terms of dividends. I mean, any per share, especially the tier one bank, twelve naira, ten naira, thirteen naira. You could right. say it's due to the revaluation. So, so I don't think that would be a problem. It may dilute the earning per share in the short term. Remember, we are saying we need to be the one trillion dollar economy. That means a lot of investment will come in. A lot of businesses will come in. I think I don't think that right. we, uh, we, we make it cheaper. I don't think so. Thank you so much, Mukta, for your time. Appreciate your insight on this uh, topic. Uh, Mukta Mohammed, analyst at SAR Investments, looking.